President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday presented the budget for the 2020 fiscal year to the joint session of the National Assembly. He informed lawmakers that uh, the federal government expected revenue is 8.155 trillion naira for the year. The president, while presenting the budget, described it as a budget of fiscal consolidation to strengthen Nigeria's macroeconomic environment, investing in critical infrastructure, human capital development, and enabling institutions, especially in key job creation sectors. He said the 2020 budget is based on the new VAT rate. He added that the increased revenues will be used to fund education, health and infrastructure. The increase in the budget also reflects the new minimum national minimum wage. The public as well as the private sectors need a reliable budget cycle that is predictable and reliable for planning and execution of their fiscal and financial policies and programs. It is therefore necessary that the present cycle is changed to a January to December cycle. We recognize that our highest ambitions and the collective best interests of our nationhood can only be achieved when the legislature and the executive work together in pursuit of our shared ambitions. Therefore, we will make every effort in this ninth assembly to achieve constructive collaboration with the executive on all matters of appropriation, implementation, and oversight. As of June 2019, Federal government's actual aggregate revenue, excluding government-owned enterprises, was 2.04 trillion naira. This revenue performance is only 58% of the 2019 budget target due to the underperformance of both oil and non-oil revenue sources. Specifically, oil revenues were below target by 49 percent as at June 2019. This reflects the lower than projected oil production for cost under recovery on supply of premium motor separate EMS, as well as higher expenditures on pipeline security maintenance and frontier exploration. The 2020 budget is expected to accelerate the pace of our economic recovery, promote economic diversification, enhance competitiveness, and ensure social inclusion. We are optimistic of attaining higher and more inclusive GDP growth in order to achieve our objective of massive job creation and lift many of our students out of poverty. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has itemized rather allocations to ministries, departments and agencies as laid out in the 2020 Appropriation Bill. Speaking at a joint session of the National Assembly on Tuesday, the President, who named the bill a budget of consolidation for 2020, noted that allocations to some MDAs as laid out in the budget are as follows. The Ministry of Works and Housing on Tuesday got the highest projected allocation of 262 billion naira from the 10.33 trillion budget estimates. This was contained in the proposal as presented by President Muhammad Buhari to a joint session of the National Assembly on Tuesday. He said that the projected allocation of Ministry of Power was 127 billion naira and that of transportation was 123 billion naira. Other of the key capital spending allocation in the 2020 budget include Universal Basic Education Commission, 112 billion naira, Defense, 100 billion naira, Zonal Intervention Projects, 100 billion naira, Agriculture and Rural Development, 83 billion naira, Water Resources, 82 billion naira, Niger Delta Development Commission, 81 billion naira, uh, 48. Education, 48 billion naira. Health, 46 billion naira. Industry, trade and investment, 40 billion naira. Northeast Development Commission, 38 billion naira. Interior, 35 billion naira. Social investment programs, 30 billion naira. Federal Capital Territory, at 28 billion naira. And Niger Delta Affairs Ministry, at 24 billion naira. President Buhari in the budget proposals anchored all the estimates and projections on parameters earlier proposed and approved by the National Assembly as contained in the 2020 to 2022 medium term expenditure framework and physical strategy paper. 
Now, the People's Democratic Party uh, has urged the National Assembly to redirect the 2020 budget to areas that would better serve the interests of majority of Nigerians. The party gave the advice in a statement issued by its National Publicity Secretary, Kola Ologbondion, on Tuesday in Abuja. President Muhammadu Buhari on Tuesday presented a 10.33 trillion naira 2020 budget to the joint session of the National Assembly. Ologmodiyon said that the budget as it is would further impoverish Nigerians and mortgage the future of the nation. He opined the core of the budgets remain hazy, showing streaks of padding, duplication, replete with false performances, performance indices, deceptive projections and inexplicable expenditure assertions. These, according to him, would create openings for diversion of public funds. He, also of the, he is also of the impression that the budget is skewed to serve the interests of the opulent as projects that have direct bearing on the well-being of the masses were not substantially accommodated in the overall expenditure profile. Now, the House of Representatives is to suspend plenary sessions from Thursday, October the 10th until November 30th to enable its committees to pass the 2020 budget by December. Representative Benjamin Kahlo of the APC in Abia, spokesman of the House, told newsmen this in Abuja on Tuesday that the suspension is in a bid to restore the January to December budget cycle. For this, the spokesman said the House has inaugurated all standing committees which have started working with ministries, departments and agencies rather, to appraise previous budgets and compare with the 2020 budget. The committee have set up a roadmap for Wednesday 9th to Thursday the 10th of October. They are expected to debate the general principles of the 2020 appropriation bill as well as the reading and referral to the committees. On Thursday, October 10th, the House will meet with the chairman of all the committees to guide them on what is expected as regards the 2020 budget. From October the 10th until Tuesday, October 29th, the committees will commence budget hearing and engagement with the MDs.